Hello Libras. This is your reading for April 2019. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming, as usual. Let's see what's going on for Libra. We're going to do a Celtic cross, guys. Cards face down, all right? That one wanted to come out for some reason. I feel like there's a lot that you guys have been thinking about. Um, you're not sure about something here, okay? That Two of Swords energy. Cars are wanting to jump out everywhere for you guys here. Let's see. The energy that's around you guys. What's challenging you? What's underlying here? The recent past. Best possible outcome. Let's see what's coming in for you here. How you guys are viewing the situation currently? The influence. Okay. Your hopes or fears there. And the overall outcome right there. So let's see what's going on for you guys this month. <clears throat> Ooh, the moon. Mm. A lot of deep feelings for something surrounding a situation. I feel like um, a lot of you guys are mothers here with this moon energy. There's a lot of emotion I feel like. Uh, you guys are feeling and you feel like you know it is evident in a situation okay there's a lot that you guys are not um, sharing here okay what's challenging you is the devil okay it's a lot of anxiety I feel a lot of fear surrounding something here Capricorn energy Piscean um, cancer energy here but um, a lot of fears there is definitely um, I'm, I'm feeling like <clears throat> excuse me there's an attachment here there is definitely I feel like some codependency going on in this situation um, there there's something that is being um, overdone okay I do feel like you know there's definitely, a, I feel like, an emotional codependency in going on in a situation here, okay? Let's see what was going on in the recent past. Five of Wands. Feeling very conflicted around a situation. Looking for stability. Um, and, and seeing it so very close that you could put your hands on it. <clears throat> but there's been a lot of conflict in the past, okay? I feel like you guys were so close to obtaining, you know, your personal happiness in a situation, in your home. Hmm. Let's see how you're viewing the situation currently. The Nine of Cups here. There's definitely something that you are hopeful around. Um, you feel like there is definitely, you know, growth in a situation. I feel like you guys are happy. I do feel like there's something um, that you're definitely holding on to here that really makes you happy. It really makes you happy and it's something that I feel like you guys have hoped for have wished for and um, but again with the nine of cups there there's a sense of, of you know overindulging in something um, maybe there's some um, selfish energy that you are either dealing with uh, from someone else or there's an attachment I feel here as far as someone else is concerned, um, 
there is a possessiveness I want to say that's what I'm looking for I feel possessiveness in a situation here let's see what the underlying factor is here is a page of Pentacles I'm getting that um, somebody here wants what they want okay there is um, definitely wanting you know their way in a situation I'm feeling like either this is either this is a child or this is somebody that may be younger than you guys that wants what they want um, and they may be coming as a page because they haven't exactly revealed you know everything to you guys they're kind of holding things to themselves okay it's like somebody's waiting for the right opportunity to not really expose themselves but um, it's like they, they can't really divulge everything right now but there's definitely somebody I feel that wants what they want there is like um, a possessiveness here in a situation okay now the best possible outcome here is a knight of wands this is an energy of being in and out you know feeling one way one day and then the next day you know this person may feel something totally different and you know just get out they may want to be here in a relationship the next day they may decide oh it's not for me and be gone you know just kind of going back and forth the best possible outcome I feel in this situation is that you know because the knight of wands is looking looking knight of wands is looking towards the past looking back at what they've been through okay and not wanting to go there again so what I'm getting is the best possible outcome in this situation for you guys what you want is to be happy that's all you're looking for okay um, you don't want anything throwing it off you don't want you know this false sense of happiness you don't want somebody that's in and out you know I feel like this is exactly you guys knowing what you want that's the best possible outcome and knowing how to obtain it okay knowing when something's not working for you and when to get out of it what's coming in for you guys here is the Ten of Pentacles okay um, a committed relationship this is definitely a committed relationship but I feel like there is a definite distinction between the two of you there is a divide maybe um, you know children involved here in a situation I feel like there there's a lot that you you guys your intuition is on point I do feel but um, I do get that you know some of you guys kind of let some of you just ignore it sometimes okay and the ego kind of steps in the way and I feel like that is that that is, um, is something that you guys struggle with a little bit because I feel like your intuition is definitely on point. I feel like you know certain things, but um, you talk yourself out of things here. Okay. But there's definitely a committed relationship, I feel like, coming in for you guys here. Now, the influence here is the Three of Pentacles, actually, you know, a working with people. Okay. Getting along, building on something. Bring excuse me bringing your resources together to build something here um, maybe this is actually moving in with someone here okay figuring things out compromising working things out okay now your hopes or fears here is a tower that um, 
you know, there's there's nothing stable here. There's nothing that's that can come of this. Okay. That it will all fall to pieces. That it's going to end. Whatever feeling of happiness, of joy that you um, feel currently, you're afraid that it's going to end. Okay? That somebody's just in it to hit it, basically. To get what they can get out of it. And then, you know, your foundation will be shook. Your stability will be gone. Your happiness will be gone. Okay? The overall outcome here is a sign. You guys being happy. I feel you definitely being happy here. Becoming aware, becoming enlightened. Becoming aware and enlightened. Okay? Now, this could be you by yourself here with your children or, you know, your family. Okay? But only you guys know your situation. Only you know your situation. You know, there's only one person in that card, one adult in this card is the reason why I say that. And there's two babies down there, starting over by yourself. Or you could be happy with someone. You know, not everybody wants to be in a relationship. Okay. So, we have um, Pisces. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Um, again, Cancer's here. Leo's here. Sagittarius may be here. Scorpio energy as well. But definitely I'm feeling somebody is either attached to you or you're attached to them. But um, definitely some selfishness, some toxic energy, um, some codependency going on in a current situation here in the month of April. Okay, somebody feeling very possessive over the other one. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you soon.